Hello and welcome back to the channel. This week I have a top tip for you. Do you work with people who need to send you large project files or any old files for that matter and you spend your life using Dropbox, sharing, what have you or using WeTransfer for example? Well did you know if you have a Microsoft 365 subscription you don't need to use any external applications when you need files from other people, whether they're internal or external. You can set up a folder and give it the permission to request files. This sets up a file request, which you can then send to your other person who can then go ahead and upload those files directly into your folder. So I think we're going to see this in action. Here I am in my OneDrive. This is my Shelley at Tomorrow's VA. So it's my real OneDrive, not a client, not a, not a fictitious person. And I'm going to create a new folder. So I'll click Add New and choose Folder. And here I'm going to give the folder my, a name. And I'm going to call it uh, Request for Images. And I'm going to click Create. So far, it's just like creating any normal folder. And I'll find it down here in the alphabetical list, further down, eventually. And there it is with this nice little crown showing me that I've got a new folder. Now I've hovered over it and got the three dots. I'll click the three dots and choose Request Files. When I do this, I need to enter a description so the recipient will know what I'm asking for. So it might be project images in this case. They'll only see that file description. I'll click next and it creates the link. Now I can just copy this link and pop it in an email. Anyone with the link can upload the files is the permission or I could actually send it via email to somebody. But I'm just going to copy the link for now. And then I'm going to go into email and send that and I'll just pause recording while I get that set up. So here I've got my nice new email. I've addressed it to my Gmail account so you can see it's somebody external. And I've given it the title image request and I'm just going to pop the link in there. Now obviously I would write a whole flowery email saying please pop the files in here. Um, but this is what it looks like and I'm going to click send. And then in a moment or two I'm going to go and log into my Gmail account and show you what that looks like. So here I am in Gmail and here is that email, that image request. And there I've got a link to the folder. So I'm going to click that link and you'll see that all I get to see as an external person is a request for that folder. So I'll select the files and I'm going to go to my pictures folder and I've got lots of pictures of coffee. So we're going to go to my coffee folder, which doesn't seem to have anything in it today. Coffee photos. I moved them. So we'll have but first coffee, which is definitely how I feel in the morning. Uh, and perhaps these, these two as well. So I'm going to add all of those files. And oh, it's only added, it's adding them one at a time. I forgot it adds them one at a time. We'll add but first coffee. And we can keep adding. And then it wants to know who sent them. So I'm just going to make it like that. I'll now click upload. You'll see that it will upload. And let's go have a look at what that looks like at Shelley's end. Okay, here I am back in my OneDrive. There's my request for images folder. And there are those two images that were uploaded by Shelley Fischel just a couple of minutes ago. And I can now move them, deal with them, download them, use them in the project that I wanted them for. So I hope you found that useful today. Remember to ring the bell, subscribe, and I'll see you in another video at some time very soon.